Yo, what is up everybody? And my name is Nick from the Gun Flick and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing another Blu-ray update. I'm just gonna show you guys all the Blu-rays I've been picking up for the month of June. Got a decent stack right here, pretty big. No new releases or anything, just random pickups that I had to pick up. Most of these were just random cheap Blu-rays that I had to buy. And so yeah, let's get in to the Blu-ray update. The first Blu-ray up is um uh, the first two Blu-ray up actually are X-Men movies that I've been uh, meaning to pick up and I finally did. I want to grow my X-Men collection since, you know, they're some of my favorite uh, superhero movies. So the first one up, we got X-Men, the first one for $7.99 at uh, Best Buy. I wanted to grow my X-Men collection. Very underrated X-Men movie that I could find for a good deal. Cheap price, thought why not. Fun, fun superhero movie that I grew up with. Uh, I used to watch it all the time when I was like four or five. I watched this when I was way too young, but still had a blast with it. I remember really loving it, and I have not seen it in a really long time, like for a few years now, so I'm definitely going to have to revisit it. Um, not the best X-Men movie, but still really fun X-Men movie. And the next one up, another X-Men pickup, and me to pick this one up as well. I got it for five bucks at Target. That is the Wolverine. Uh, awesome movie, you know, not as good as Logan, but still awesome X Men movie. Not a lot of people talk about it. Um, if only this could have started, you know, the the Wolverine standalone franchise instead of X Men Origin. Because if this actually started the um, X Logan standalone franchise, then we could have got a lot more X Men standalone movies. But you know, instead. We got X-Men Origins, but luckily this one's still really good. And not as good as Logan, but still a pretty fun movie. Um, comes with the Blu-ray DVD for five bucks. Thought, why not? Check out Wolverine if you have not. Very under underrated X-Men movie. Next one up, one of my favorite action movies of all time and the best action movie of recent years. That is Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol for five bucks. Thought, why not? Cheap price. Love this movie. It used to be my favorite movie of all time. It's still a good movie, but not my favorite. Probably my top 30, maybe. Still great action movie. The best action movie of recent years and one of the best of all time. I just have a fun time with this movie. I love all of the Mission Impossible movies. They're so awesome and action-packed. And this is by far my favorite out of the franchise. But I love the Mission Impossible franchise. It's one of my favorite action franchises, so... I'm going to have to pick up all the, X, all the Mission Impossible movies, but I thought why not start it off with my favorite, my personal favorite, Ghost Protocol. Really good movie. Comes with the Blu-ray DVD for five bucks. Great pickup. Next one up is a five dollar pickup from Target. Well, actually I didn't even get it. My brother did. Uh, he watched this movie at school. Where the Wild Things Are. I have not seen it in a very long time. I remember watching it when I was younger because I read the book a lot when I was a kid. And I don't remember basically anything about it, but hopefully it will still be good. I remember liking it, but not anything spectacular. But, yeah, can't wait to check it out again for 5 bucks. I had to pick it up. Um, plus it came with the... No, it didn't. Never mind. I was going to say it came with the UV code, but I don't think it did. did. Oh, no, it came with the Blu-ray and DVD, though, so... Five bucks. Looks like it has a lot of actors. I believe Chris Cooper is in this. Oh uh, yeah, Chris Cooper is in it. Mark Ruffalo is in it too. So yeah, that I hope it will be good. Gonna have to rewatch it again. <clears throat> Next one up, another five dollar pickup from Best Buy. I actually have not seen this, but I've heard nothing but awesome things about it. It won Best Picture in 1990, and that is. Dancers with Wolves, directed by Kevin Costner and stars Kevin Costner. And, yeah, like I said, one best picture. Everyone seems to love it. So, yeah, you're going to have to check it out. Five bucks. Came with the UV code. And, yeah, I hear it's really good. But it's like three hours long, so I don't know when I'm going to ever watch it. But, you know, hopefully it will be a solid flick. Bet it will. Everyone seems to love it. But, yeah, comment down below what you think of Dance of Wolves. Just going to have to watch it pretty soon. Next one up, Captain America Winter Soldier. My brother got this for his birthday. And what can I say? I love this movie. It's so 
action pack. I like this a little bit more than Civil War just because it's a standalone Marvel movie. Unlike Civil War where, you know, it's more like a more like a Avengers movie, but still action packed movie that I love. If you don't know I'm a huge fan of uh, the MCU, they have some of my favorite movies like the Avengers is in my top five of all time. And you know, this actually is my tenth favorite movie of all time. My favorite movie of 2014. I love this movie so much. Uh, it's just awesome. And yeah, I was meaning to pick it up uh, earlier, but it's always at $25. But luckily, my brother got it for his birthday. Gonna have to revisit it soon. Um, but I just remember loving the heck out of that movie. The next two are Goodwill pickups. I usually don't go to Goodwill, but when I do, they have awesome deals. For $2, got Lord of the Rings and the Two Towers. Have not seen this one yet, but I heard nothing but awesome things about it. This is the second one, I believe, but yeah, $2, thought why not. Heck, a lot of people talk so good. Like, everyone talks uh, Everyone talks about these movies and how good they are, so hopefully it will be a fun time. Um, I remember reading the first book, like, halfway through, but then stopped because I didn't really care for it. But still, looks like it could be a fun time. Have not seen any of the Lord of the Rings movies, but I've seen, I have seen The Hobbit. But hopefully, it'll be good. Two dollars comes with Blu-ray and the DVD. I mean, heck, couldn't pass it up. Looks like it'll be a good movie. The next one up, also two dollar pickup from Goodwill. This one I have seen, and I really, really like. That is The Hunt for Red October with Sean Connery and Alec Baldwin. What can I say? This movie is fantastic. Uh, it's a based off of, it's uh, based off a book uh, from Tom Clancy, and yeah, this movie's awesome. I read the book. I love the book, and I've not seen it for a very, very long time. But I just remember loving the heck out of this movie and having an awesome time with it. Hopefully, it will hold up well. I've not seen it in a while. Gonna have to revisit it. But if you have not seen Hunt for Red October. Check it out. Saw it for two dollars. I just thought I like that movie, so yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it will still hold up. The next two are horror Blu-rays. Um, got the Halloween 35th anniversary Digi book. Um, one of my favorite horror movies of all time. One of my favorite movies of all time. I believe this is my second favorite horror movie of all time, but it's probably the best horror movie ever made. John Carpenter's 1970-something iconic cult classic horror movie. And the cool thing about this movie is it proves that you don't need a big budget to make an awesome movie. I mean, just look at uh, look at uh, John Carpenter made this movie really low budget and ends up being one of the best movies of all time. And I believe he's made a couple, like, really low budget movies. I think his first, like, big budget one was The Thing with Kurt Russell, but yeah, really good, really good movie, cool digi book for 11 bucks, thought why not, if my uh, Bradley, aka Dick's production, this is his favorite movie of all time, so uh, when I went Blu-ray hunting with him, he convinced me to get it, so I got it, I watched it with him, fell in love with it ever since it, uh, when, you know, when the movie first started, I, I fell in love with it, had a blast from start to finish. Speaking of Dacus Production, he got me this film for my birthday, and I can't think of enough. He introduced this movie to me. I fell in love with it. I've seen it about three times already. That is The Poltergeist from that, from 1982, produced by Steven Spielberg. Just an awesome, iconic, underrated classic, uh, underrated horror movie. Uh, really fun movie. Really, really, really freaky movie, but still awesome movie. Can't wait to watch it again. Uh, Steven Spielberg produced this. I don't really, you know, it's it's just an awesome movie. That clown scene, if you have seen this movie, the clown scene in this movie freaked me out. If you have not seen it, there's just this really iconic scene in it. There's a clown scene, and that freaks me out. <clears throat> but, yeah, really, really cool. Uh, Billy Ray, happy to add it to my collection. Thank you, Bradley. Take his production. I'll leave the link for his channel in the description. So, yeah, that is The Poltergeist. Alrighty guys, that will do it for this Blu-ray update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like on this video. Comment down below what you thought of my pickups. Subscribe. And as always, guys, flick on.